Hey, it's Romer, also known as Calvin, and this is The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass, and this is Link's Great Voyage. We're con continuing on. I say we, but I mean myself. I don't mean to pander to people by saying stuff like that, you know? Because I'm literally moving the controller here. Well, not moving the controller, I'm actually using a stylus. So in a way, Nintendo provided me with the stylus. So it is we. I mean me and Nintendo. Me and Nintendo are going through the Wind Temple. That makes sense. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going to the Wind Temple. Now for okay, we can go back there. It is it is a little bit difficult to control. I'm getting more of the hang of it as time is as time is going on, but also like I think at the same time I'm also having a little bit of a problem with it as well. I should open the door here. I love these puzzles. I remember in Ocarina of Time, like, the, the puzzle, and I'm still playing Ocarina of Time, it's just I haven't got back to it in a while. I might get back to it today. But I remember in Ocarina of Time, one of the most, like, fun things about that game was, like, blowing up stuff. I think probably more than any other game, blowing up stuff in Ocarina of Time was so much fun. I got a freaking text, but I hope you guys didn't hear that. <laughs> You're gonna lift it up, I think? Oh, it's one of these guys! Okay. I totally sacrificed myself all the time for that. Um, this is very strange. There must be a reason why there's a spot there. It must be like a fake... Yeah, it's a fake wall. Okay, let's... Let's try that from a different angle this time. And again, I'm sorry for the new people and other people know already, but um, it is kind of difficult to talk and look at the stylus at the same time. Um, but I'm trying my damned hardest to do so. This should be a shortcut, shouldn't it? Of some sort, anyway. I'm not. I'm not. I'm never quite sure what the shortcuts are. First floor. This does not look like a shortcut. But I'm guessing that since it is a room, like all on its own, I'm guessing that it's, there probably is something in here we have to collect. Or maybe not. Maybe that was just is this room. Whole room is a big giant troll room. No, it's not. It is definitely not. So one of the, I actually um, decided to start playing uh, Fortnite very recently, and like it was just because my friend was like, "Hey, do you want to play some Fortnite?" And like, I can never really. Oh, that's where the big key will be. I can never really turn down my friend in terms of viewing because I, I love playing video games or so much that I'm kind of like, and my other friend, like with the three of us, it's me and my two other friends, and like, um, well, like I guess it was just her this time though. Like, usually, you know, it depends on who. I never know who's playing because sometimes I play Bloodborne with them as well. And, like, sometimes I'm, I'm always just guessing which which person is playing what at what time. But if you're ever watching this, it was really freaking fun. At first I was kind of like, oh, this is frustrating and I'm never going to get the hang of this. And then, then it, like, t a couple of minutes into it, I was like, um... No, no, no. What happened was, actually, I was like, I, after, like, after we finished playing, I was like... Man, like, I was kind of frustrated through a lot of that, but now I'm kind of like... Now I kind of want to go back and play it again. <laughs> I kind of want to play some more. Like I was in college today and I was kind of just going through like the library and I was typing up at the end of my essay and I was like, I kind of want to play some more Fortnite. And it's not really my type of game. Like I love Destiny. Like Destiny was one of, oh my god, I have no hearts. I probably should collect some. Maybe they'll give us some hearts here. Um... Okay, I'm gonna create a restore point here just in case they don't give us any hearts because there could like actually no look it won't take long. Let's just go back here and collect hearts. Like that's to be safe, more safe than sorry. I think that's the best bet here, and they're like it's right over here. So like, and we got some more bombs as well, which we might need for this battle as well. Okie doke. It's weird that we're fighting the boss already, though. I didn't think this this dungeon is pretty short. 
I am kind of dreading going back to the Temple of the Ocean King because I'll tell you one thing already. Like, like it's it's bad if like already, I'm thinking about like a, one part of your game that I don't want to go there. <laughs> Step into the blue light to return to the temple's entrance. Oh, cool! So there's a shortcut. There would have been a shortcut along. That's really cool. Okay. Um, let's step in it, and then we can... I'm always worried that they don't activate if I don't step in them. Because then if we die, we don't need to worry about, um... Whatchamacallit, we don't need to worry about... Using, using a restore point or walking all the way back. This, um... This game is way too generous. Oh, okay, 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 I have to watch this. this I, I'm watching the pad now, okay. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Cyclone Stir of Winds. Careful, that bloated beast. What the frick? I kind of wish we got a better view of it down here. Do we have to drop bombs into this? We do, okay. It's much more difficult than I think to actually do this, um... They do give us a few hearts, though, to worry about, so that's good. And then we can knock him down again. That's a lot of fun. This is a lot of fun. This guy's really weird, though. <laughs> I like him, though. Okay, so we have to wait for him to come over to a certain place. Oh, God! I did not expect him to do that. Okay, okay. Um, let's hope he goes over here really quick. He does. But he didn't. He's being too smart. He's being too smart. Leave me alone. Okay. Okay. Sorry for the lack of, um, commentary at some parts. I'm just, like, very focused and I don't want to die. Leave me alone, please. Where is he? He's on the ground. Where is he? That actually worked. And I was like completely, like, it was intentional, but like it was half intentional. I wasn't actually intending that to work as well as it did. I do like as well that they give you like bombs as well to like work with here. Okay, we killed him. He looks really cool. I couldn't get a really good look at him while he was down there, but like, he looks really cool. And I do all oh, the decay. The decay. You got more sand for the Phantom Hourglass. Thank you very much. Two minutes have been added. Okay, that's good. I'm Neri, the Spirit of Wisdom. Thank you for slaying that vile monster. Now the seal has been broken and I'm free. Look, Link. This time, it's the Spirit of Wisdom, Neri. We came all this way to- Oh, sorry, we came all this way to seek your help. The Ocean King must be locked up somewhere too. 
The spirit of power is with you. Of course I'll help. This is my f look at this. Like this is like they never really focus on the fact that Link is a freaking child, you know, man? And that childlike wonder in his eyes is freaking amazing. The Spirit of Wisdom Neri has joined your group. Find one more spirit to track down the ghost ship. I'm guessing that is exactly where we'll, we'll find our new heart container. You got a heart container? Awesome. Very, very good. Very, very good. Let's do this. See you later, guys. Okay, so now we can probably go back to the Temple of the Ocean King. Well, no, that's exactly where we have to go back to. Not that I'm like... Not that I'm extremely happy about it. <laughs> like, I kind of just want to go to the next temple. Like, I really do. Like, I don't think the method of which, like, they did the other games is broken. I'm just going to say that right now. I, like, I, I don't I don't think that, like, it was a... Uh... Wait, am I going the right way? Maybe it's just me, but I, I don't think that it was a broken method. I really don't. You know, it's the wrong way. Is there any way I can just go back? Is there any way I can just walk back? I guess I can just go this way. Um. But yeah, like, I don't think the method of what they used to do in Zelda games was broken or anything. You know, just you collect a bunch of stuff and you unlock a door. You know, and in this case, you're unlocking the ghost ship. Look, I'll try. I haven't tried the Temple of Ocean King twice, so maybe if we try it twice, it might actually not be as bad as I'm thinking it will be. I just don't like revisiting dungeons at all, so... Well, Will Link, you did alright, kid. Looks like you hauled in another spirit, eh? To the Temple of the Ocean King, then. Let's set sail. All aboard, we're setting sail. Okay. Um, so... Let's see now, there's a golden frog over there, but I don't- I don't think you- I think we can only go fast traveling one way to there. Um... I suppose what we can do is just go back to the Temple of the Ocean King. I wonder if, like, it will t Just take us back. That's... We can- yeah, we can probably go just to the South Sea this way. But we're gonna pass by that boat that I was talking about earlier. It just seems like a small boat anyway. Like, if I blow it up, it's fine. Wait. The traveler ship? Looks like the King of Red Lions, or whatever it's called. Yes, please. Okay, sorry about that. We're going to talk to this uh, Irish-looking dude. Hmm. Say, I can't help but notice. You're dressed exactly like me. Are you a fan of mine? Ha 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 ha! Don't get me wrong, it doesn't surprise me in the least to meet a fan. I travel the world on my Prince of Red Lions ship to save all things from evil. Oh, this is a reference. <laughs> yes, you heard me right. I'm what you would call a hero. So, do you want to have my autograph? Yeah, sure. Oh no, I'm afraid I've run out of autograph paper and so very sorry. I know this can't take the place of my autograph. Well, based on the way you're dressed, I'm quite sure you're an admirer. Don't worry, I understand. I'll make you my apprentice. A hero's apprentice. What more could a fan hope for? Not much. Very good. It's a side design. That's your name, kid. Link, huh? Link. You are now a hero's apprentice, aham. Uh -huh. <laughs> Study and learn the dashing ways of the hero, and remember to stay cool. Do I do something with you? Say, my faithful apprentice, Link. Want me to train you in the art of swordsmanship? I do, actually. Very well. You and I will meet in battle. I'll check to see how much skills you have. Hacha! Come at me with your finest moves, my young apprentice. Ow! That didn't count. I went too easy on you. But I won't do it again. Let us fight. Uh, that... That's it. 
Let's leave it at that for a day. Your skills were never to improve if you overdo it. I must admit, the fact that you made contact a total of three times, that's an appropriate skill for the level of, of an apprentice of a hero. Keep it up, my apprentice link. Put your hand out for a second. You got some pink coral, okay, thank you. That's a gift to honor the sweat and tears you shed in battle. It's nothing big, but it might come in handy at a later time. Thank you very much, sir. This is really cool. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna end the video there. In the next one, we're going to go to the Temple of the Ocean King, and I'll see you very soon.